Peace and blessings to all. Thank you for joining our broadcast of this video. Please consider subscribing to Lost Tribe DNA and tapping on the bell for all notifications. This video is dedicated to the people who spread misinformation about the origin of haplogroup T, which is in the Near East, not Germany. The paper titled, The Questionable Contribution of the Neolithic and the Bronze Age to European Craniofacial Variation, published on December 21, 2005, explores the reasons behind the presence of African and Near Eastern DNA in ancient European populations. This is primarily attributed to the migrations of early farmers and herders into Europe. One key finding from this study is the distinct craniofacial pattern of the Mühlhausen sample from the German Neolithic period, which shows closer ties to Middle Eastern and North African populations. This suggests a genetic connection between these regions due to the migration and settlement of early farmers and herders from the Near East into Europe. The study shows that many craniofacial dimensions remain genetically neutral, acting as markers to evaluate genetic relationships among populations. When examining craniofacial measurements across various human populations, it becomes evident that modern European groups are closely related to each other. Spanning from Scandinavia to Eastern Europe and reaching the Mediterranean and the Middle East. However, the Neolithic and Bronze Age populations of Europe appear less closely related to modern Europeans, except in Southern Europe where some connections are stronger. The paper also highlights the genetic link between the Epipaleolithic Natufians from Israel and Sub Saharan Africa, haplogroup BT. Through demic diffusion, the Neolithic way of life spread from the Near East across the Circum-Mediterranean region and Europe, blending with the existing populations who gradually adopted both the lifestyle and the people coming with it. The absorption of migrant agricultural communities by local foragers in various regions diluted the sub-Saharan genetic traces initially brought by these Neolithic groups, leaving no discernible elements today. This initial view, suggested by archaeological records, is now supported by skeletal morphology analysis. Furthermore, during the Chalcolithic and Early Bronze Age periods, Europe saw an influx of Western Steppe herders, WSH, haplogroup R from the Pontic Caspian Steppe, introducing new genetic influences, European hunter gathers EHG haplogroup I, and Caucasus hunter gathers CHG haplogroup G, resulting in a complex admixture of ancestries and further diversifying the gene pool of ancient European populations. Thank you for watching and please show your support by subscribing and liking and commenting on all of the videos on Lost Tribe DNA.